37 Rust Dog back again with another Transformers review. And this time, this is over the Transformers Construct Bots Cybertron uh, Soundwave Custom. Notice I did not throw any uh, laser beak into him. Because I figured he could probably be better without laser beak. Even though we already know that laser beak is part of him. But as far as the Construct Bots go, they do have, they are limited to what you can transform them into. Now, for this guy, he, he's actually based off of my um, uh, Nexus Prime Construct Bot custom that I was going to do, but instead I went ahead and used it for Soundwave, so I can use Soundwave, this one, in my stop motion project called um, Transformers Cross Worlds. But anyway, here he is. I'm going to go ahead and pan, him, pan this up a little bit so we can all kind of get an overview. Yeah, the leg parts right here were spray painted yellow. It's over the feet. Other than that, I think he turned out really well. Now, the weird thing of is, he kind of, sort of, closely re resembles his uh, Cybertron counterpart, and that's what I was trying to base him off of. But it didn't work out, so I got I had to stick with what I got. But other than that, in order to transform this guy, and we're gonna go ahead and do a complete um, 360. The feet, yeah, I know his feet are starting to crumble away because I was spray painting them outside where it was cold, and cold and paint don't go together. But anyway, transform him. First, we're gonna take the weapon off. And I got it mounted right on his rear. So we're going to set the weapons to a side. Take this. Roll it, roll his, yeah, rotate his feet out. Straighten them up. Take these pegs. I really don't even know why I've even put that on there. I guess for stability or making him look even. Now we just bend his legs forward like that. And then I got to angle this up. So we can all see. There we go. Just like this. Now we're going to pop open the legs. And the wings are getting in the way. So we pop the legs open. Swing them around. Bring them up like that. Now he's going to get pretty good size. So I'm going to get a box to set this on. And I'll be right back. Okay, now we're going to pop the hands off. Right off the wings like that. Because he's, he's uh, pegged into him with these little pegs right here. Then I'm going to hold the arms up like this. Now we're going to come back to the back part of it right here. Take the wings off. And I'll explain why. Now we're going to bend his arms down like that. To bring that over. Bring this all the way around. And it's going to drop like that right there in his uh, chest piece. That will become his other part of his chest piece. I can get this lined up. There we go. Just like that. Now, but I should have based it. Hold on. i got to bring these up again. i got to open this up. Bring that up. Now, close that right there. And then bring these down like that. Oh, hold on, let's see. Yep, just like that. Now we're getting him almost formed. Now he looks... He's almost getting there. Now we just got to take the hands, bring these up, turn them in, angle, and down. Bring it up. Turn it in. And there you go. Now he's kind of hunching back and he's looking up and... Uh, anyway, then we're going to take the wing tips and peg them right. It's going to be kind of hard to see, but I want to show you right here in this groove. Peg it all the way in. And we're going to bring it up over like that. Actually, that was not the way it was supposed to be done on it. Actually, crap, I put it on the wrong one. 
Hold on. Actually, uh, no, I had it right. I had it right. I just had a rough morning. Yeah, you got to put these wings right here just like that. Fan them up. And you notice they're going to form like a V in the middle of his back. Like that. Drop it down. And bring out his head. And there he is. Now, and he's kind of lopsided too. Now, we bring this weapon and we place it right in his hand, like so. And now, uh, I'm trying to debate if I want to put this gun on him or not, but I'm not going to use it. Screw it. But there is Soundwave, the Cybertron Construct Bot Soundwave Custom. Pretty cool, I might add. But at the same time, I'm going to go ahead and just take him off the take the box out. Now we can actually get a wide angle shot. And there he is. And as of right now, since it's early in the morning and I'm pretty much tired still, this is. Hold on, I gotta fix him up because apparently the wings don't want to sit properly. I know what he's missing. He's missing his Decepticon symbol. And that's fine with me because right now I'm gonna use him as a. Um, I want to, I want to say more like a spy, but he's more like an infiltrator. But other than that, this is my uh, Transformers Construct Bot Cybertron Soundwave Custom, and this is 37 Rust Dogs signing off.